Last night was an incredibly fun night, but it's a new day here at the Coliseum. Game two against the Washington Nationals. The grounds crew working hard to get this field in pristine condition as the A's win their first game back in the homestand. The big right-hander Joe Boyle will start for the A's and make his third start of the young campaign. He is one and one with an 8-2-2 ERA, but coming off a nice effort against the Tigers in Detroit on Sunday. C.J. Abrams looks to snap an 0 for 10. And a great swing out to left center. Will plug the gap. Abrams <laughs> on his way to second. Ooh. And that was a great way to start the game after going 0 for 5 last night. Now Lane Thomas hitting 192, 10 for 52. Lane Thomas will take the base on balls. J.C. Winker back at the number three spot of the order. Jesse Winker now up and swinging on the first pitch. It's a soft liner. Daryl tags the bag at third. He goes to first, and that is the 21st double play of the year for the A's. And a heck of a heads-up play by Daryl Hernandez. So two out just like that. Joey Gallo the batter. Called strike three. Got on the outside corner. Some timely defense for the A's. Post a goose egg in the top of the first. For the A's to bat against Mackenzie Gore. Abraham Toro leads off for the A's after the Nationals failed to score in the top half. Swinging a hot shot down the left field line. He's pushing for second. But he'll pump the brakes and settle for a long single. And that'll bring up Geloff. And Mackenzie Gore blows Zach Geloff away. And that'll bring up J.D. Davis. Fastball, see ya, two down. And here is Tyler Nevin, who's batting at 167. Nevin takes and it pays off. And Langoliers is coming up. Now Langoliers strikes out. So, pretty much a no contact first inning other than that first base hit right out of the gate. Eddie Rosario will lead off for the Nationals. See what he does here. Rosario inside out, little floater into left field. Nevin will make the catch trotting in. And one is down. Luis Garcia sit in four straight, nine of his last ten. But Garcia won't double there. Boyle will double his strikeout total. Lipscomb, 0 for his last nine, hitting 214 overall. 3 2 pitch. He got him. A 1 2 3 inning for Joe Boyle, a two strikeout inning. Daryl Hernandez leads off for the his bottom of the second at the Coliseum. 0 oh, 2. Shot the other way. That's going to drop down for a base hit. There you go. Daryl Hernandez gets a hit. And here's Schumann. Bouncing ball. Definitely, yes. Sir. And the Nats get what they were looking for. <laughs> Around the horn, 5 4 3. Nats turn their 13th of the year. And that'll bring up Nick Allen, who's batting at 158. Oh, my. I don't care what shoes you're wearing, you're not going to hit that. Mackenzie Gore gets a strikeout after the double play. That'll save him a ton of pitches in the bottom of the second. So one down and Jacob Young, who didn't play last night, he's three for 21. Off the pitcher. Young putting that speed to work, and that'll be a base hit all the way. Talk about speed at first and in the box. This could be fun. Runner holds. And into the right field corner. Don't stop him. We'll keep watching Jacob Young here. He's already at third base. Abrams already at second. Fun indeed. The Nets on top with an infield hit and an electrifying triple. Is there anything better than watching Jacob Young and CJ Abrams on the base pass together? It's like it is a true race. Who's faster than who? Young scores. Abrams into third with a stand up triple. And the Nationals have their first lead of the series, one to nothing over Oakland. And the A's will look to respond in the bottom of the third with this man, Lawrence Butler, who did a lot of the talking last night. That is outstanding, down and away. And the first time through the order, the A's go two for eight, but five strikeouts. It's the A's are trying to make something happen with two on and one out for J.D. Davis. Strike three called, a backdoor curveball locked him up. So a big pitch for Mackenzie Gore. He strikes out Davis again, and that gives him six Ks. Now the A's cleanup man is Tyler Nevin. Loud sound high in the air out to center, but Maybe in July that has a chance here. A strand four through the first three. Oh, Jacob Young makes the grab. That's the first out. Here's Daryl Hernandez. Three two inside edge. And now we have another unhappy hitter. Number seven for Mackenzie Gore. Now Max Schumann who went into a double play in his first big league at bat. Two two strikeout number eight. 
Mackenzie Gore with a 1 0 lead. But the sacrifice advances Riley Adams 90 feet and into scoring position for the Nats as the man who drove in the lone run of the game comes up to the plate. 3 2 again. Struck him out. Boyle wins round three and a big out for the A's in the top of the fifth. Lane Thomas has walked and bounced to the second baseman. One, two, buckled him for strike three. Lane Thomas couldn't do anything about that and Joe Boyle gets out of the inning cleanly down by one run. Allen Butler and Toro against Mackenzie Gore. Breaking ball, see ya. Three in a row, number nine. Started out as a strike, ends up way outside. And Mackenzie Gore, 10 strikeouts. Did he go? Yes, he did, Rob Drake says. So in five innings, do the math. There are 15 outs, 11 of those, the big K. They just go to the bullpen. The uh, left-hander Kyle Muller comes out of the pen. Jesse Winker to lead off the sixth inning. Swing a line drive left center field toward the gap. Chasing on this one is the left fielder Nevin. He cannot cut it off. It's to the fence. Winker on his way to second. He's in there standing with a double. So Jesse Winker, who had a four-hit game last night, gets his first hit today. Winker 90 feet away. Nationals leading 1-0. And it'll be up to Luis Garcia. Garcia rocks one out to center. And it's way over Schumann in his major league debut as a starter. Nowhere near that ball, and the Nats pick up a huge run here in the sixth inning. Well, Slider stays up in the zone, two strikes, and he just stays inside it nicely, backspins it, and about five steps in was Max Schumann. Well, he's the only lefty in the bullpen, and Robert Garcia has been busy. His team leading eighth appearance in the Nationals' 14th game, with Allen taking second. Now Abraham Toro, two hits and three at bats, plus a stolen base. 1-1, one, one. hit in the air to left field. Back goes Rosario, it's off the wall. Toro into second base, and he tallies the first A's run here in the bottom of the seventh. I'm becoming more and more bullish on Toro at the top. He has some new life breathed into the at-bat. The overrun by Thomas on the foul ball. That'll give him another look. And he locked in. 3-2, got him on the outside corner. Another strikeout for Kyle Muller. Make that three. Muller's 1-2 pitch. And he handcuffed Winker for strike three. 1-2, strikes out the side in order. Kyle Muller take a bow. The A's trying to tie it or more. So the Nationals threatened with two out runners on the corners. Young with an infield hit back in the third. That is fair into the left field corner. Lipscomb scores. Adams coming around to third. And a huge double for Jacob Young. The Nats have their two run lead back. It was a hard sinker down and in off the plate. Short, quick. And that is all because Jacob Young is fast. Because that guy's <laughs> not, no, he, I'm, he's not going to play there with two outs normally. Kyle Finnegan, who, by the way, is tied for second in the National League in saves with four. Ryan Helsley of the Cardinals has five. We'll tie him right here. Seventh game for Kyle. Forcing fastball split and the slider. It'll be Ryan Noda pinch hitting. Wow. Country hardball here in Oakland. One out. And the strikeouts continue. In the seventh, swings it to a looper. Garcia back leaps and makes the catch and lands on the outfield grass for out number two. He was trying to backpedal and decide when to jump. I think he was still backpedaling when he went up in the air. Now it comes down to Lawrence Butler against Cal Finnegan. And a ball scorched out to left center. Caught Jesse, or rather Eddie Rosario. And the Nats have won it, so they don't get to 19 strikeouts. But, but they get the badly <laughs> needed win, and Franny, this is a 3-2 and two road trip. 